but salvation is necessary if they're going to make it to heaven. Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other. We're talking about the name of Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It doesn't say where we could be saved. It says we must be saved. Absolutely. And I know most everybody in this room should know that and eat it up. Acts 28 and 28. Be it known there, be, be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles. Everybody say, that's me. We are Gentiles. The Jews were the promised people, but God got tired of their empty promises. He got tired of their crying. Now, I'm not saying the Jews aren't going to be saved. That's up to God. That's not up to me. But I am a Gentile, and it says right here that it let it be known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent to the Gentiles and that they will have it. You will have it if you seek it, if you want it bad enough, if you're willing to get into that prayer closet and seek after it. At this time, I'd like our musicians to come. We turn now to our opening scripture, Mark 11 and 11. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple. And when he had looked around about upon all things. And now the eventide had come. He went out unto Bethany with the twelve. Wait a minute. There's a part missing in the scripture. There's something missing. Jesus went in to the tabernacle. He looked around upon all things. I can understand all that. When the eventide came, he went out into Bethany. I don't understand that. He came into the sanctuary, he looked around, and then he left. Why would he do that? There was all kinds of healings. There was all kinds of miracles going on inside all of the Gospels. He healed. He touched. He blessed. He forgave sins. Why would he just come into the sanctuary and just leave? Jesus! Thou son of David, why are you leaving? I seen you walk in. I seen you stand right there. I seen you look all around. Surely you saw me. Why are you walking out? And Jesus says, Because I looked from the front to the back and I could not find a true worshiper. I looked from the platform to the back seat and I could not find anyone to give me praise. I scanned down each and every row and no one was willing to give a willing sacrifice. I kept looking, I kept searching, and I could not find anyone willing to forgive. I stayed a little longer until the evening, and no one 
reminded me of the promises that I said I was going to give them. No one was making new promises. No one was keeping their promises. I stayed just a little bit longer. And no one was desiring salvation. Did I not die for you? Did I not bleed for you? And you don't want my salvation? And now, I look around before I walk out and I see no victory. On day seven, we need victory. Because there are some church services that are not as powerful as others. And you wonder why God's not here. Why isn't he moving? Why isn't he doing anything? Well, instead of asking God why, I need to ask myself why. Why doesn't he see me worshiping? Why doesn't he see me praising? If you'll stand with me, please. Jesus stayed into the evening, and then he left to Bethany with the twelve. Well, Brother Chris, why did he go after the twelve? Because he knew they would worship. Because he knew they would praise. They were giving a willing sacrifice. They were keeping their promises. They were understanding his words. They were forgiving John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. If you wonder why God's not moving in your life, Ask yourself, why am I not moving in God's life? If you'll take one step, you'll take two. This altar is open. Come and be the first. Come and be the first to offer praise. Come be the first to give a willing sacrifice. God, you are awesome. There is none like you, Lord. I want to be a true worshiper. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me. I want to forgive those who hurt me. And I want to forgive myself for being hurt. I give you my soul.